Amid the global fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, stories of success and impact shine a light on the power of community-driven initiatives. The People's Republic of China Poverty Reduction and Regional Cooperation Fund funded the Asian Development Bank's technical assistance mitigating the impact of COVID-19 through community-led interventions, which supported civil society organizations in three countries during the pandemic. In the Bangsamoro region of the Philippines, where communities were displaced to new areas, community health workers were provided with comprehensive training, equipping them with essential skills for COVID-19 mitigation, contact tracing, sanitation practices, and vaccine awareness campaigns to keep their communities safe. In Thailand, communities developed COVID-19 response plans. Vital personal protective equipment and supplies were provided to safeguard migrant workers and other vulnerable populations. Mass information campaigns were created to prevent the spread of the virus in migrant communities across three regions. A public health expert team trained key stakeholders of three CSOs in training of trainers for combating COVID-19 and future outbreaks. Experts from the PRC's Capital Medical University and Peking University shared COVID-19 response experiences. The training covered communication, vaccine promotion, and interactive sessions on key messages, communication plans, outbreak preparedness, contact tracing, surveillance, vaccine importance, and addressing hesitancy in the Lao PDR, the Philippines, and Thailand. In Thailand, migrant worker communities received vital support, such as food, water, hygiene supplies, access to health services, COVID-19 screenings and treatment, and health insurance. The project also worked closely with government health offices and social welfare departments to connect migrant workers to agencies that can provide them with formal social protection support. Recognizing the unique challenges faced by conflict-displaced communities, border area villages, and cross-border migrant workers, the project provided tailored livelihood opportunities. In Thailand, jobless and unemployed migrants whose livelihoods had been affected by COVID-19 were given life skills and occupational training. Within the Bangsamoro region in the Philippines, livelihood groups were formed and were given training in carpentry, vegetable cultivation, and handicrafts. In the Lao PDR, returned migrant workers received training on soap and mask production. The project also organized farmers' clubs, where members learned improved methods of growing vegetables, fish farming, and raising livestock. In the face of adversity, these stories highlight the importance of building community capacity from healthcare knowledge to economic resilience. Each initiative shows the potential of tapping into the power of community and partnerships in forging paths to brighter and resilient futures.